Hi, I'm Kathy from the Dell Fuel Cool Company, and today's project that I want to share with you is this Jelly Roll Hexagon Quilt. This is a real easy one to make, and it just takes one Jelly Roll. I hope you enjoy the video. So the fabric that you need for the quilt that I made is essentially one Jelly Roll, or 42 two and a half inch width of the fabric strips. It's very helpful to make this if you have one of these neat little half hexagon templates. This one is from Moda. The 60 Diamond Mini Ruler also works great as well from Creative Grids. If you don't have one of those, I'll show you how to do it without, but it just makes it a little bit easier to have these templates. All right, to get started, I've got one of my Jelly Roll strips here and I'm keeping the fold in it because I'm gonna cut two of these at a time. And then I'm going to lay my template on here. And I'm just going to cut on one side. And I'm going to cut the other. And I want to make sure that I'm cutting these little dog ears off. That's going to help with when I sew these together. And then you're going to rotate your template if you're using this one. And I'm just going to line up the edge here. And again, I'm just going to cut clear across, move this out a little way, and cut those dog ears off. You've got to make sure that you hold that template really secure because it does slip a little bit. And I'm just going to keep doing this all the way down this jelly roll strip. I will say as fun as this quilt looks, it does take a little bit of time to cut all these half hexagons out. But if you stick with it, I think you get a pretty cool result in the very end. Okay, so I've got my first jelly roll done. And you should have a total of 10 of these from each of your jelly roll strips. Now, if you don't have one of these templates to use, I'll show you how you can get the same look with just a regular ruler and using the guidelines on your mat. This method you don't get the same efficiency as using all of these turns here and maximizing the cuts on your whole strip, but it's still simple and it works. You might just need a few more jelly roll strips to complete the project. So to do this method, you're gonna to wanna to cut your jelly roll strip in five inch sections. I'll just get a couple here to get started. And then I'm just going to stack a few of these 5 inch sections together. And then we're going to use the markings on our mat and our ruler to just kind of do a little bit of that, that tapered hexagon edge. And we're going to measure 1 and 1 quarter inch to the top from the bottom corner. So I'm just going to take my ruler, I'm going to make sure I can see the, the markings on on the mat below. I'm going to line that up with the one and one quarter inch, go from the very bottom corner here, and I'm just going to cut that off. Same thing on the other side. I'm looking for the one and a quarter inch, and then I am going to go from the corner, one and a quarter inch, and cut the other side. So it almost looks the same. Um, it's a little bit different in diameter here at the top but it'll give you the same look, I think, overall on a quilt. It also doesn't have the dog ears, but we can work with that. Okay, once you have all of your pieces cut, then we need to arrange it. And we're gonna sew this quilt in half hexagon rows. So you're not gonna sew it with its partner. You're gonna actually sew it, a bottom is gonna be sewn next to the top of the very next row. So I'll get a couple lined up here so you can see what that looks like. So this is one of those quotes you really got to lay out ahead of time and think about what you're putting together. Because if you don't have it right on the next row, it's going to look a little messed up. All right, so I've got a few laid out here just to show you what, what this looks like. So essentially, we're going to sew this row together and this row together. But since we've laid these out, you can see how they'll match up once we get it all together. You just got to make sure that your bottom and tops are lining in the next row. So I'll show you a little bit more on this almost finished piece. I gotta finish the quilt on this. Um, but you can kind of see how when you look closer, it's not a full hexagon. They're actually half hexagons. 
and I've got this one here, and then it's partners up above, and then I stitch it next to the top of this red one here, and I just kind of proceed it with that for the whole quilt. I did arrange these in, I try to do kind of a rainbow kind of cascade look, but you could arrange them whatever way you want, of course. But I just kind of wanted that little rainbow kind of look in this overall quilt. Okay, once you have your pattern figured out then, you've got all your pieces lined up, we just want to be careful to take one row at a time and then sew that row together. It's really helpful if you've got a design board and you can lay these out. Um, if not, just, just be careful and, and go slow. So when you sew these together, we're going to use these little dog ears that we cut off, these little marks here, to line these pieces. You see how having that on the ruler really helps. So when you do your quarter inch seam allowance, these are going to be perfectly aligned. Whereas in the ones that were cut without that, you have to adjust for the quarter inch seam allowance. Otherwise, when you sew it, it would be a little off when you press it open. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this one, just make sure it's lined up. And then I'm going to sew a quarter inch. I'm going to sew this whole row together, and then I'll show you what that looks like when that's done. All right, I've got my first row sewn here, and you can see that I've got them in the right order, so when I sew these other rows, they should line up pretty nicely. And then to press these, I'm just going to actually press them open. Um, you could press them to one side, just make sure that you have them in the right direction so that they nest when you sew the rows together. And I'm going to get this next row sewn together. All right, I've got this row sewn together, and as you can see, they line up pretty nicely when you put it next to the row below. So now I'm just going to sew these rows together to show you how they come together. But you're going to want to make sure you do all your pieces first all, and then put all your rows together and then sew them together. I'm just, for demonstration purposes, just showing a little small section here. And then put these together. I'm just making sure the seams are stacked on top of each other. I'm probably not going to use any pins and hold it with my fingers and then do a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, and that's how those two rows sewed together. And just a reminder, wait to do this part until you got your whole row length put together and then sew it together. If you're wondering how to finish off the edge of this quilt, I am just cutting off the edges, the points here. You could do smaller pieces to fill in, but I didn't want to do that, that fussing. I thought it'd be just easier to cut it off. And this is what it looks like on the cutoff side. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please visit us at delfieldquiltco.com and consider subscribing to our channel. Have a great day.